I think as we think about strengths, I love this picture. Can you find the park building in this picture? What I feel certain that you can see is that is the very beginning of the University of Utah. Not the very, very beginning, but fairly early. Um, Utah is built on a culture of collaboration. That is an asset. That is a strength that we can take to the future, that will help us move into the future. Um, the fact that we were built by people who needed to work together to survive and thrive is an important part of our culture. We want to take advantage of that. And back in the early days of the university, I, apparently it didn't take too long after building the park building that they make sure we had a football stadium, I guess. Um, I think that's amazing. It stands out as one of, the, one of the key features of the early University of Utah. And the President Circle really was a circle then from the looks of things. It's kind of neat to be able to uh, trace the beginnings of the institution back to that sort of sense of a culture that valued education, that valued engaging with community, and that valued working together collaboratively. Just as important part of our culture and a strength and an asset for the university that I hope we can continue to capitalize on is a culture of innovation. You contribute to the culture of innovation every day when you think about how the care you provide, the way you interact with patients and community can be as creative and as effective as possible. That's an important part of our story, of our theme, of our future. Of course, we have some very, very uh, visible and successful elements that tell that Utah story. Uh, Ed Catmull is an alum of engineering and physics, I believe, and uh, the creator of Pixar. John Warnock. John Warnock is a math alum and an electrical engineering alum. Adobe um, is, is part of, of his story. ARUP from our fabulous pathology department now one of the largest uh, pathology operations in the country, an amazing part of the Utah culture of innovation, and myriad genetics, very, very important element in terms of identification of genetic con contributors to disease and cancer in particular. Um, the Pac-12, I think, is an important part of this culture of innovation as well. It puts the University of Utah in an extraordinary peer group. That is where we want to be. That's where we want to benchmark ourselves. And that culture of innovation is an important strength that the University of Utah has that you bring with you to your work every day.